Hey, who wouldn't thought a small town here in Tawau Sabah has the potential to do a local brand? Aesthetic. 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 The crazy demand started from social media. Bubble tea shop, coffee shop, and matcha green tea. This cute drink cafe started a trend by creating aesthetic drinks that encourage customers to post their drinks on social media, which went viral and gained a lot of attention especially for youngsters and the influencer that making this trend a huge deal. Tawa which is located at East Malaysia, this town have provided a myriad of local drinks as the trend called the aesthetic drinks. This documentary will take us more in depth on the local brand by informing us what makes this drink more unique and every shop in this town have their own specialty to each other. The aesthetic drink is what is an attraction for many people and mostly the people who are active in social media which is the youngsters nowadays and the influ influencer maybe yep. uh, they usually wanted a content where things are aesthetic look Uh, macam anak-anak muda sekarang, orang suka benda-benda estetik biar pun mahal. Tapi kalau benda itu cantik, nampak sedap, rasanya belakang cerita. Tapi kalau minuman itu sedap lagi berbaloi lah, sebab netizen akan datang lagi untuk flex. So saya rasa itu yang buat benda ini trend. Mostly estetik is related to drink and drinks and foods where the foods attracts people the uniqueness of the food or drinks attracts people to try and buy it nowadays people like good pictures which is they want everything to be nice and unique uh, so pendek kata orang sekarang suka flex benda So what makes me think that I want to uh, start a drink uh, a cafe because of uh, I remember back to university days. So I really like to drink coffee, and I started to think that if I were to come back to my hometown and started to venture into a coffee shop, another style of combining a love style and a western style, and also cuisine into a cafe that would be making a most. Uh, a really superb cafe in Tawau because that style kind of like unique. It is my childhood dream to have a cafe. It's a gap of opportunity that suddenly become available. It's a dream and I always have this idea in the back of my mind to create a space like this. Because I'm a coffee lover uh, and I wish to drink it every day, uh, so I decided to bring in this uh, uh, this coffee brand and into Tawau. Uh -huh. Okay, first kali ke Tawau memang orang mau bisnes memang sebab duit lah. First kali sebab duit. Lepas duit baru sebab pasar orang lain. So yang keduanya saya nampak potensi apa potensi bisnes bisnes cafe ataupun estetik drink ni sebabnya risiko rendah profit rendah so lagi pun benda ni profit dia tidak banyak cuma dia cepat sedikit dia rolling. Story behind this cafe is actually I want to uh, give good cup of coffee uh, people around here in Tawau compared to Kuala Lumpur and other place. Uh, other state, uh, Tawau here is, don't have that much of a uh, kind of cafe. Uh, Tawau is focusing more on boba and sweet drinks and all sort of blended drinks. So 
coffee, focusing on coffee, only coffee, uh, not that much. So I want to create that kind of cafe. During the time I started this business, uh, there, there aren't a lot of uh, coffee, coffee cafe in Taiwan. I feel that uh, there's a potential for Taiwan market. Pertama, okay, pertama sekali, jual aesthetic drink ni, jual air boba ni, saya start dengan si Odi. Dengan si Odi tu sebenarnya saya test market. Macam, uh, kalau di Sunanjung dia top, mungkin di Sabah belum tentu top. Jadi saya try di Sabah, saya try try try. Uh, nampaknya sambutan orang Tawau pun di Sabah pun padu. I wanted to uh, bring in some mixed style of uh, cuisine, so including the Western, the Asian, the uh, Japanese one, or the Korean one. But that wouldn't uh, work out at all. The most common things that comes to my mind before starting a business is the capital. So I first obtained the capital, I discussed with my father and my family. I started to do my research uh, on coffee and started to uh, creating my own taste of uh, coffee. And after that, I started to uh, do some research on the floor plan, uh, how I would want to bring the, the style to uh, my coffee shop. The desire of having on my own coffee shop is that I started to think that if I were to have my own successful uh, coffee shop like, like there, like they, they are, and to have our uh, own coffee shop, our, our own style of coffee as well, like the taste and the dessert, the design. So really unique that they once they see our design, they straight away know that uh, it's Horizon Cafe. Before I start this business, I travel for coffee. A collective of experience from my travels. I follow a lot of Korean, Japanese uh, cafe in social media, so I kind of get a lot of inspiration from Korean, Japanese cafe lah. Buat brand ni, buat brand sendiri ni susah. Tapi memang betul susah. Tapi sebab benda ni, kita boleh belajar. Kita boleh belajar, kita boleh jumpa orang yang betul, maksudnya cikgu guru yang betul. So, kita akan start minat dengan benda tu. Bila kita minat, passion tu ada. Bila passion ada, kita benda susah pun kita go saja. Kita yakin okay, buat bisnes F&B. Lepas tu, banyak di Tawau ni pun memang sudah banyak orang buat bisnes F&B. Contoh, company orang boleh berjaya, kenapa kita tidak boleh berjaya? Sebenarnya, kita boleh berjaya. Uh, my cafe concept is uh, to more on relax and chilling well, where people came in they can relax themselves and then uh, have a place to chill out with their friends uh, and of course a uh, uh, customer can do their job uh, in this relaxing place uh, my cafe concept is mainly about coffee tea and pastry uh, we, we here try to minimize the intake of sugar. Uh, when when we because we are using specialty coffee beans, we want them to enjoy it without sugar because there's a characteristic in that coffee beans that that should not be overpowered by sugar. For specialty coffee, they have character. They, they have uh, testing notes. Uh, in layman terms, they have flavor. So with specialty coffee, we, we have different different type of flavor. So in this cafe, we want to introduce that kind of, that kind of tasting notes to other people too. Coffee, coffee is a fruit, coffee that have this type of taste uh, other than bitter. Okay, uh, for now, kami ada boba. Mungkin lepas ni, Memang soon, memang soon, tidak lama lagi kami akan ada tambah fast food. Lepas tu mungkin ada menu air yang baru selain daripada boba. Mungkin healthy drink, mungkin untuk orang diet. Insya Allah. Aside from the regular coffee that we serve like the uh, ice americano, ice latte, we also do the cold brew, uh, which is uh, we need to uh, put in into a uh, room temperature and and let it to be uh, sitting there for 18 hours before we can serve the coffee. So it's kind of like bringing the, the, you know, the taste of uh, flavor aside from the espresso coming out from the espresso machine. But then the coronavirus has attacked us. 
so uh, during the COVID-19, so I think that pretty much uh, affecting everyone, including us. Uh, so in, term, in terms of the sales, we dropped around 80 percent. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, the sales drop uh, about uh, thirty percent compared to the normal normal day. Sebenarnya ada lah sedikit, tapi kalau bagi business FMB ni, FM eh tem tem COVID ni, dorang tetap pacak. Dorang punya dorang punya graf tu tetap menaik terus. Ah, saya rasa banyak orang business mereka down. Mungkin sebab mereka tidak tidak follow trend marketing yang sekarang maksudnya TikTok, IG, story, reel semualah okay, for me benda yang paling penting sekarang cara kita marketing kita punya produk di social media Is it enjoyable to work here? <laughs> yes it is uh, for me working here I got a lot of time to learn more about coffee itself and latte art the for the hand brews which is pour over and many more. Uh, yes, definitely. I think I really enjoy working here because it's not that really stressful and I working without that many pressure but more to relax. Sebab bosnya baik dan supporting, peraturan kami sini tidaklah statik biarpun busy. Banyak customer tapi kami still rasa benda itu kerjanya enjoy lah. Orang sekeliling pun peramah jadi macam kita enjoy bahawa kerja ni kan. Uh, apa biar dia macam banyak kerja pun kan kalau kita macam ramai yang support kita sekeliling kan jadi macam kerja tu senang sih I want young people to realize that they can uh, they can open a business and create an experimental space uh, but I hope them uh, do it with passion and uphold some value into their business I think without uh, value and passion their business would would be not as uh, as authentic as it as it can be uh, also i think uh, malay entrepreneur around here they have the capital but they but they are afraid to invest on uh, a fresher idea uh, to to create an aesthetic space and a solid solid product offering i think they should look into uh, ideas, new ideas, and uh, and try to create a, a, a product offering that is worth uh, people, uh, customer, consumer uh, money. More and more customer uh, know our assistance and uh, giving the uh, opportunity to serve them as well. So uh, also to try our our food and our drinks. Maybe, maybe the other uh, way to enjoy the healthy meal, uh, and you know, gather some friends and family to uh, to enjoy another another atmosphere in uh, another coffee shop. Okay, uh, I hope that uh, I hope this documentary can help my uh, coffee shop to expose uh, and. To get more Tawa people uh, to know more, uh, to know this uh, cafe. <laughs> Harapan saya ialah first kali memanglah akan ramai orang lebih kenal the cousin. Okay, selain itu, saya mengharap uh, untuk orang-orang Sabah lebih ramai orang yang muda macam umur macam saya lebih uh, minda mereka lebih terbuka macam orang di Sunanjung umur belasan sudah start berniaga, umur belasan sudah pegang puluh ribu ratus ribu. So hmm. orang Sabah pun boleh cuma kita kena cuci kita kena galakkan lagi untuk orang-orang muda ni membuka bisnes sendiri. Dikenali ramai di seluruh Malaysia lah ni. I hope people will come and enjoy more our drink and recognize the local brand support us because not just for the our cafe but is the matter of our economy too. Hi, datanglah ke Horizon Cafe support local drink kami. Lastly from me, I hope you will keep supporting us in Coffee Press. Do support the local, support us and support your local indie shops.